Hey guys, so it is Wednesday. It is Wednesday and ooh, what a night, eh? Um, I don't want to get too political on this channel. One, because what's done is done. <laughs> so it's just, first of all, for anyone who's going to ask, well, you're Canadian, why do you care? I will leave a link as to why the US directly affects Canada and the rest of the world in the down bar down below. So just because, you know, Canada and the US are not the same country does not mean that the United States and its decisions and who they vote for does not affect Canada or the rest of the world. I hope for the country's sake that Donald Trump proves everyone wrong. I have tried to understand why someone would vote for him, especially women. And I don't know why I'm getting emotional about this because I just feel terrible for the minorities in the United States. I feel terrible for the African American people who are already so stigmatized and already in such a fragile you know state because of the racism that runs rampant in the United States I'm scared for you know the children and I'm scared for women it's baffling to me that in 2016 a woman's body is still up for debate um, in case you didn't guess I am pro-choice I believe a woman's body is her body I believe that it's a woman's right to choose. I feel bad that American citizens were put in a position where they had to pick their president um, for who they believed was the lesser of two evils. I feel bad that they didn't, or they weren't given the opportunity for, to vote for someone that they believed in, someone that they wanted to stand behind, someone that they wanted to lead their country. If I was an American citizen, I would definitely fall under, you know, under, I guess, like the being democratic. Um, but I understand that Hillary Clinton's not an angel either, but like so many people have said, Trump's campaign was built on the hatred of women, of Muslims, of Mexicans, of immigrants, and just the fact that the majority of people voted him in, it's just like, how the fuck did that happen? How is it 2016 and the leader of the free world, arguably, is Donald Trump? Comparing Hillary Clinton, and I know you're going to bring up her emails and how she's pro-abortion, acting as if she's going to walk into the clinic, an abortion clinic, and just sit there waiting to do an abortion. I just don't get it. I don't understand. I, I try. I really do try to wrap my head around why someone would vote for Donald Trump. Why? And it's not even a Republican versus Democrat thing. I mean, like, I totally respect, you know, your country choosing your party and being a Republican or being a Democrat, but this isn't, you know, Barack versus Mitt Romney. This isn't George Bush. It's, it's, it, I don't even know what to say. I can't tell you the amount of Snapchats and tweets I have received from you guys saying that you are scared for yourselves, for your children, for your families, for your friends, that you are heartbroken, that you are ashamed. And I hope that, I hope that people, you know, come together and stand up for what they believe in. And I hope that even though I feel like America has regressed even further, I hope that I just hope that not too many people have to have to suffer. Um, it's no shock to people or to viewers, I guess, that I I've always been very open. I mean, I'm a supporter of the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm He had, you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. Don't touch me. Get out of the car. Don't touch me. I'm not under arrest. You don't have the right to you tell me. You are under arrest. You fucking move. Fuck off. 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 F
Hey, boss. Hey, boss. because I'm going to have a little photo shoot. Um, we've been listening to what you guys have been saying and you really want pictures on like all the necklaces of what they look like on, which we do post a lot of those like on Instagram from people that have been wearing them and like tagging us in them. Today we're getting the pictures taken of me because Tony is in, she has to go to school today. And especially with our holiday collection, we really want you guys to know what you are getting. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking those pictures and then we're also gonna be listing this necklace. It's my favorite necklace. We're gonna be listing this up for, oh my God, oh my God. I know those guys, they're on Mike's team. Oh my god, Mike's gonna laugh. I just saw his two like buddies from his team last year. That's so weird. I wonder what they're doing here. Um, so yeah, um, we're gonna go take pictures. I picked up all of the 
Well, I stopped and picked up some necklaces, made some necklaces because everything's handmade to order. So we don't always have, I mean, I have, I had some of my personal necklaces, but I didn't have necessarily all of them. So I stopped and picked them up and now I am on my way to the shoot. I'm starving. I haven't eaten. I woke up at 7.30. I've been waking up literally at 7.30 for like since Sunday. I like it because I get so much done. It's 12 right now. Um, and I've already, you know, got it up, <laughs> filmed, I uh, like, I responded to the comments, filmed the video, went to Coffee and Couture, now I'm on my way to take pictures, and then I'm gonna come back to Coffee and Couture, but I'm so hungry, so, yeah. Since I'm gonna be in the city, I might stop at Mandy's or, like, Ovi for, for a vegan lunch thing, but we will, we'll see, we'll see. I'm just drinking, like, a Starbucks right now. Michelle, oh, look at you, blush little outfit. We came to Ov for, to get, um, a juice or something juice. and uh oh the tamari dressing is not from here right no so what kind of juice did you get i got the tonic which is apple lemon ginger it's my favorite this is my favorite it has beets carrots and apple and the actual reason why i tried this was because when Haley steger and her sister Lindsay, i think Lindsay's the oh, youngest yeah, one why am I? sydney sydney is the middle one there's three sisters well, she Lindsay, ordered this Lindsay's one. Lindsay's so cute. She followed me on, on Instagram and I checked. I no, they're both her. they're both so sweet. Mm. Haley was gonna do Haley was doing an ask Haley and I wanted to ask her when she's coming back to Montreal. But um I got the beet, carrot, and apple. I didn't really eat much today, so this will be good. It's really good. I don't know, it's so energizing. So Michelle is insisting we head on over to Mandy's which is a really good salad place. And since, I don't know, it's like three, I'm probably, I have to go to work after this. So I'm gonna get a salad. If I don't get her to get Mandy, she's gonna end up eating like a sub. <laughs> like Dagwoods. You just said like Dagwoods isn't like, no Dagwoods, like that health food store. Well, Dagwoods. no, I actually, I, I just love their grilled chicken. Well, they're really like, it, it's, it's definitely more like fresh seeming than I love Subway. I do. I love Subway Veggie Delights. Mm. Have for years. You? Is this the one near Holt Renfrew? No. Why am I talking like I've never spoke Holt Renfrew? Holt Renfrew? Next week, are you going to come with us on our day? I'm so excited. It's going to be luxury shopping. Tell them what you're doing. No, it's going to be a surprise vlog. Oh. People are going to be in a tizzy. We have to record soon. Yeah, we do. We I was just drinking there. this. I didn't like it. You've been there? Yeah. With Alex after we went to visit church. Because our church is right here. Um, I was drinking this, Michelle, and you know what? I was, like, really enjoying it. I was like, wow, this is, like, replenishing my soul. You know what I've uh, got? What? This looks like the blood that Bella drank in Twilight. <laughs> I feel like I'm drinking blood. So Michelle took me and insisted I get a salad. And it was actually really fast. So if you go to Mandy's in Montreal... I got the December salad, half tamari dressing, half Asian, and it's really good. Hey guys, so I just got home. I have a really bad like headache slash like it's in my teeth. I don't know what it is, but I got some things I wanted to show you. These two things came in the mail and then this you guys are gonna die over. So Flex contacted me and Flex is a menstrual product and it's a menstrual, it's a menstrual. It's a disposable menstrual disc you guys know I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the Diva Cup. I'm a big fan of women being in control of their reproductive organs and of their health. Um, so when they contacted me, I was more than happy to try it. So I don't, I have to look into it. It says it's a menstrual disc and it's intended for a single use and can be worn safely up for 12 to safely up for up to 12 hours, latex free. Um, I should be actually getting my period soon, so that's that's perfect timing. So they just look like this, almost like a little bit of like, this would be like a really huge condom, but like a condom wrapper. Um, like a mix between a condom and like a pad. So I'm not going to open one because I don't want to waste one, but when I do get my next period, I will, I will try it. And then this is from NCLA. NCLA is a really great nail polish brand thought you might like this lacquer from our Zodiac collection. Now this is really funny because Michelle always, oh how cute, it's in a little bag. Michelle always makes fun of me because I always talk about how I'm a Leo because I really feel like I'm a Leo through and through. And so they contacted me for the Zodiac collection, which 
I don't know. I just found funny because Michelle always laughs at me when I say, because I say I'm a Leo or I ask people like what their signs are. So this is the Leo by NCLA. And as you can see, I guess if this wasn't gold, you'd be able to see the little logo, but there is the Leo sign on it and it's called Leo. And this is going to be really pretty. Like it's a really nice gold. And then the next thing I want to show you, one of my good friends, Tristan, she sent me a picture of this and it's a Starbucks mug, but you guys are going to flip. I had one like this a few years ago. I actually had two Starbucks mermaid mugs. I don't know where any of them are. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need to ask my mom like where she put them because they were my favorite mugs. I don't know if someone broke them and just like didn't say that they broke them, but I can find them. But anyways, this one's even nicer than the original one. Are you guys ready? Look how pretty this mug is. I might even wash this and have make myself a tea. But it's like this almost like dove gray, baby blue, mermaid scale mug. It's just so beautiful. It's like, ugh, I want to get more of them. They are expensive It for like for a mug, like when I typically buy them at like Target or Winners. And they're like $5. This one was $18.95. But I do love this one. So I decided to get it for me. Michelle actually picked it up for me, but I transferred him the money. I need to ask my mom where my other mermaid mugs are because I love them and I'm so happy with this one. But it's four o'clock, I just got home. I was gonna go to Coffee and Couture for a little bit to work, but I'm, I had like a really bad headache. Like, it doesn't feel like a migraine yet, but I feel like it's coming on. So I'm trying to nip it in the bud by taking like Advil and drinking a lot of water. It's weird because it like, this side of my face feels fine. But then this side, like right here, it really hurts and then my teeth hurt. So I don't know if it's like my wisdom teeth or migraine. I decided that since it's four and I've already done like a lot for the day, I decided to come home and I don't know, just relax for a little bit. By relax, I mean put new pictures up on Coffee and Couture and then I'm going to go probably over to the office around six tonight um, and do some work tonight instead because I needed to just relax this from this morning. It was just go, go, go. So that's what I'm doing now. That awkward moment when you're wearing the same jacket. I won't. What are you looking for? Nothing, I was just waiting for you. I was looking for retinol cream, but then I was ambushed. Why, yeah. did you watch Dr. Dre's video? No. Oh. Tony has got me hooked on boba. How is it? got a coconut and it's so good. So much better. <laughs> we got this weird potato. So I just wanted to give a quick first impression review on the Pixie Skin Treats Nourishing Cleansing Balm. Sorry, my camera. I, as you guys know, love cleansing balms to remove my makeup and I ran out of the, well, I'm on the, my, my biotherm one is on its last leg. So I was kind of up between a few different ones. I got a really good size sample from Sephora during the sale as a point perk. And then Pixie sent me this cleansing balm. I honestly feel so conflicted with this because it took off, you can see my outbreak, it's like, it actually looks way better than it has been, so that's good. Um, I've been using this every night. Um, Benzagel, spot on. But I'm really conflicted by this product because I don't know if you can see, but it almost looks like, feels like gritty. Um, it says that the ingredients are sweet almond oil, cocoa butter, and shea butter. And it says that it comforts as a deep cleans and nourishes melting away makeup. And it really did melt away my makeup. Honestly, like normally I have much more mascara underneath my eyes. So I feel like it did a good job of taking off my makeup, but like the way it felt, like it felt heavy on my face, which I don't know, but at least it took off my makeup really well. I'll try it out a few more times, but I don't know if you've ever tried like, if you've ever tried like the Biotherm or even, I don't know, I'm sure the Clinique one is similar. It's very silky. And the, this one just felt a little bit more gritty on your face. So anyways, I'm gonna follow that up with my Origins Ginseng. This is what I've been using 
um, along with the moisturizer and eye cream. So I'm just gonna follow up with this. But over, like my skin, like the makeup's off, but it was just like, putting it on felt really weird, but I'll try it out for a few more, a few more times.